Welcome to day six of our beginner track. We'll be jumping straight into movement again today. So if you haven't done days one through five yet, click on the links below and head back to day one. So come on down and let's get started. The other day we talked about just jumping straight into the hundred without really trying to find your transverse abs or your neutral pelvis because I'm hoping at this point you have a better understanding of where that is and how to engage it. So let's go straight into the hundred. You're gonna lay down on your back. You're gonna bring the legs in a tabletop and bring the arms straight up to the ceiling. So if you need to leave your head down or leave your legs down, that is totally fine. Take a really quick moment, close to the ribs, wrap through the waistline, find your neutral pelvis. Then as you exhale, you're gonna press the arms down, lifting the chest high and start pumping. Here we go. In two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. And exhale, two, three, four, five, three. So as always, the arms are really straight. Four, five, four. You're always pumping from the backs of the shoulders. Four, five, five. You're closing through the ribs. Two, three, four, five, six. And exhale, two, three, four, five, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, eight. Maybe curl up a little bit higher, shoulder blades off the mat. Nine. Exhale, two, three, last one, 10. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hug the knees in, relax, take a moment. All right, let's go straight to our roll up. Lay your legs all the way down. Reach the arms back behind you. Inhale, lift the head of the hands. Big exhale, grab your legs if you need to roll yourself all the way up and forward. Inhale, start to roll back. Exhale, the rest of the way down. And stretch the arms overhead. Inhale, lift the head of the hands. Exhale, scoops. So you're really rounding your spine, stretching your back. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, all the way down. Grab your legs if you need, or if you need to seek your feet under a couch, under under a couch, under your couch, shh, you can do so. Good. One more full one. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, the rest of the way down. Reach the arms overhead. Inhale, lift the head and the head. Exhale, round forward, stretch, reach. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, the rest of the way down. You're relaxed fully at the bottom. Okay, so we're not gonna do the full one today, but I'm gonna start to introduce a roll over. To me, it's roll up, but your legs are gonna be all the way overhead. Let's try to stretch, stretch, strengthen your abs to be able to do that in the future. So arms are gonna press down. Your legs are gonna reach straightish up to the ceiling. So you're gonna inhale lower, just like, like a few inches past 90. Exhale, lift. So you really want to find your low abs, press your arms down, and you're going to try to lift your butt up to the ceiling. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Hip lift. So you're trying not to use momentum to swing, and you're trying not to send your legs too far back behind you. Today, we want to think about just exhale, lift, and then down, which is honestly maybe a little bit harder than the actual rollover. Because you have that control to lift the hips up. So if you need to bend the knees, that is totally fine. Good, let's do three more. Three, and halfway, and two, and one more. And one, and down, and then relax. That last one was a little cheating. So we wanna think for, as we prep ourselves into the full rollover, we wanna find your low abs working to lift the hips up over. Because if you don't have your low abs really strong, you're gonna end up kind of muscling your way through it, which is kind of not what we want to do. All right, press your feet down. Arms are pressing up. We're only gonna do three bridges today. Rolling up. Inhale, exhale, roll down. So you wanna to try to find that bridge position right away, engaging your glutes, abs, and pressing your arms down. Okay, because we're gonna go into that leg lift series again. You're gonna roll up and hold. Abs are scooped in, right leg to the ceiling. Let's do a set of 10. Leg swings down and up 10 times. Two, three, and four. Good, five, and six, and seven, 10 here. Eight, squeeze that left butt cheek to balance. Nine, lift the right leg to the ceiling. Let's try little pulses up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, foot comes down. Can you go straight to the other side? Left leg straight to the ceiling, leg swings down and up 10 times. Two, really press your arms down. Three, wrap to the waistline. 
four. Squeeze that right butt cheek. Five. You got it. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Lift the leg and hold. Pulse it up for ten. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Foot comes down and gently relax. Very nice. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a little second. So we're going to continue to kind of work through the series. We're not going to take as many breaks, and we're going to add a lot more complex movements. Okay, so let's go into our series of five. Legs in a tabletop. Curl up super high. Hug that right knee and left leg out. I'm going to swing up my leg. And then switch. And two. And switch. And three. And switch. And four. So I'm kind of looking past the toes. Five. Just keep breathing. Six. Exhale. Inhale. Seven. Exhale. Inhale, eight, exhale, two more, nine, one more, ten, and then relax. Okay, today we're going to leave the chest up for our double leg stretch. There's a little arm choreography. We're going to introduce that next time. Today we're going to focus on just how it feels to leave the chest up the whole time. Legs back in a tabletop, reach forward, curl up high, inhale the legs out and in, two. So just the legs are moving, three, they're squeezing together. Four. If this starts to bother your neck at all, and you need to bring your head down again, six, that's totally fine. Seven, you have options. Eight, and nine, and ten, and then relax. All right, take a little moment there. Let's go into our single straight leg. So we curl up again, right leg up, left leg up, and then you're going to switch. So again, your legs are pretty straight. And three, I'd rather have that than the bent knee. Four, so you want to get a little extra hamstring stretch. Five. Keep going. Six. Six. You got it. Seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. And ten. And relax. Good. Again, let's do legs straight up to the ceiling. Hands are going to go underneath your butt slightly if you need. If you want, you can just bring your arms down by the sides like we did earlier for the little hip lift series. So for this one, we're going to turn the legs up. Inhale, lower a few inches down. Exhale to lift. And two. Exhale to lift. And three. So similar to what we did earlier. Four. Again, you're always keeping your pelvis still. Five. Try not to use momentum. Six. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, that is totally fine. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. And then relax. All right. Take a really quick moment. The last one in the series is our crisscross bicycle twist. So hands behind the head. Curl up high. Right leg tabletop as the left leg reaches out. Twist to the right knee and switch. And two. And switch. And three. And switch. Good. Four. Four. So really rotate the chest. Five. Six. Elbows are wide. And seven. Very nice. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. And then relax. Good. Take a little moment here. We've been working on a series laying on your tummy. What we're trying to do is to build up the strength of the back side of your body to progress you to some of the more advanced exercises. So let's roll all the way over to your tummy again. I'll face this way today. You're gonna reach the arms out long. We've been doing a single arm lift. We're gonna try to go straight into a double arm lift today. So legs together if you can, separate if you need for your low back. Arms are out, thumbs are up, and then pretty wide, take a, let, take a wide V or a Y. You're looking down at the floor. Take a moment. Shrug your shoulder blades down the back. Scoop your abs up and squeeze your booty. And the arms are going to reach up and down. Let's try ten. And three. So the back of the neck is long. Four. Arms are straight. Five. Six. I'm thinking about using like my bra line muscles. Middle of the back. Eight. To lower lift the arms. Nine. And ten. And then relax the back down. Okay. Fold your hands over one another. Place your forehead onto the hands. You're going to lift one leg up at a time. Two, three, four, five. So the leg is straight. Six, you're trying to squeeze your butt and hamstring to lift the leg. Eight, one more each side. Nine, and ten. Okay, we're going to do swimming legs. So we're not swimming in the ocean like this with like fins on, yeah? We want to keep the legs really straight, and you're more so squeezing your booty and hamstring. So both legs are going to lift up to the ceiling slightly, trying not to arch your back. We're going to do a little pitter-patter swims. So the legs are straight, and I'm lifting one leg up at a time. 
Good. Keep going. So your abs are scooped in. Your glutes are engaged. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, one, and roll. Press back into a really quick child's pose. Take a moment. That becomes one of these like rub your tummy, pat your head things. We're gonna keep building onto that one so we can add the upper body, but we'll just do the legs for today. Let's go into our sphinx pose so we can go into our neck roll. Elbows are underneath your shoulders, prop yourself all the way up. You're gonna look all the way to the right, circle the chin, stretch the neck, look left and forward. Look to the left, circle the chin down, stretch to the right and forward. Just one more each side, circle down, stretch left and forward. Last one, reach. Circle down, stretch, and forward. Squeeze the legs fully together. Single leg kicks. Right foot, and switch. Keep going. Three, three, four, four, five, five. So the same kind of muscle groups. Six, six, glutes and hamstrings. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and then relax. Again, press back into your child's pose. Take a little breath. Okay, let's go into our side lying series. I feel like we've been starting a lot laying on the right side, so let's switch it up and lay on your left side today. So you're gonna come all the way down, hand, uh, hand. Your head is on your arm. I don't know what's happening. Top hand on the hip though. Abs are pulled in, lift up. I know I have a billowy shirt on today, but there should be a little bit of space between your ribs and the um, mat. You're gonna squeeze your feet together. Let's start with our favorite clans. Two. Three, four, five, six, good. So this will be pretty similar to the series we did the other day. Eight, nine, ten. Lift the leg for hydrants. And two, and three, and four, good. And five, and six, and seven, and eight, two more. Nine, lift and hold your little teeter-totter seesaw. And two, good, three and four very nice five and six seven and eight two more nine and ten ten take a little moment tap out your hip extend the top leg out good we're gonna go forward and back again for ten and two and three as always scoop into the abs four keep your spine long five and six you got it and seven Almost there. Eight and nine. Okay, we did eight circles the other day. We're going to do ten circles today. Two. It doesn't seem like that big of a difference. Three. Four. You really feel the difference. Though. And five. Instant regret. Six. You got it. Seven. And eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. Other direction, full set of 10, 10, up and around. And two, and three, you got it. And four, and five, very nice. Six, and seven, and eight, two more. Then we have those little pulses, nine. Okay, hold the leg forward, little pulses to the ceiling 10 times. Three, four, oh my gosh, five, six, seven, eight. Straight leg, kick it forward. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's on fire. 8, 9, 10, and then relax. Okay, tap on that hip, roll to your back. I can't even do the figure four stretch yet. Oh, there it is. Okay. We are going to remain on this side to work your inner thigh. So when you're ready, you're going to lay back over, or roll back over, I guess. Top leg crosses over if you can. Grab the ankle. The foot can always go behind you if you need. And then the bottom leg is straight. Lift through the spine as you lower lift 10 times. Two, three. So upper inner thigh. Four, five. You got it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Lift and hold little circles. Ten, two. So that was a weird direction. Three, four, five, six. You got it. Seven, eight, nine. 10, and then other direction, 10, 2, 3, 4, good, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then relax, very nice, good, you're going to prop yourself all the way up to 6, 
we're going to do a little seated ab series. We did this the other day. So you're going to plant your feet down, reach the arms forward, roll down about halfway. Okay. So kind of find your tailbone heavy onto the mat and we'll do our marching and two. So you're kind of just testing your balance. So can you keep your torso here? Five. As you move the legs around. Seven. Eight. One more each leg. Nine. Okay, we did this the other day as well. Keep the left leg up. Bring the right leg up to meet it. If you need to bring your hands back behind you, totally fine. Can you keep the arms up as you reach one leg out? And two. Single leg stretch. And four. Good. And five. And six. Very nice. Seven. And eight. And nine. And 10, 10, and then come all the way back up. Very, very nice. Okay, take a little moment for your hips. Let's go straight to the other side. Lay all the way down the right side. Tuck the knees in, top hand on your hip. Pull the abs in, pull the bottom rib cage up slightly as you open and close. Good, two, and three, and four. Very nice, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Two more, nine, good, hydrants for 10, and up, and two, and three, and four. Just keeping your spine long, five, pulling the abs in, six, and seven, eight, two more, nine, lift and haul for your seesaw, in, and up, and two, switch, and three, good, 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 four, and five, almost there, six, and seven, and eight, two more, and nine, and 10. 10, relax the leg down, tap out the hip. Okay, extend the leg out, lengthen through the spine as the leg goes forward and back. You got it, two, and three. Keeping everything else really still, four. Reach, and five, stretch, and six. Good, you got it, and seven, and eight. Keep everything else still nine. One more, 10. Okay, big circles for 10. Up and around. And two. And three. This side is way worse. And four. Sometimes I feel like the second side's harder. Five. Because you know, the first side, you're, you know, you're using it to stabilize. Seven. So that's why I try to switch it up. Eight. So you're not always starting in the same side. Nine. Oh, gosh. 10. Let's finish the circle. Go back. 10. Trying to keep the legs straight. Two, three, my mouth's on fire. Four, you got it. Five, and six. Very nice. Seven, and eight. Two more. Nine. Okay, one more circle. We have those pulses up and down for ten. Two, three, four, you got it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kick it forward for ten. Two, three, four. Five, keep breathing, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Oh gosh, tap on that hip. Ooh, roll to your back. Give, give it a moment. Oh, I can't even stretch it. It's really tight. Okay, cross it and go over and do your figure four stretch. Okay, we have our adductor, our inner thigh. You're gonna roll back over to the right side. Cross the leg over if you can, grab the ankle. Make sure the right leg is really long as you lower lift it 10 times, two. Good, three, four, and five, six, you got it. Seven, eight, two more, nine. Lift and hold little circles 10 times, two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Other direction for 10, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then relax. All right, take a moment, tap out that hip. It's like still on fire. It's still on fire. Okay, and then you're gonna come up to your all fours. I'm gonna face this way. I was like facing this way. Okay, we've been working on, uh, we've already done our arm lift when we were laying on our tummy when you're prone. We've been working on a little leg lift series and a little leg and arm series. Let's start with the leg. So let's actually, today, come on down to your forearms. Let's save your wrist because we're going to be there for a moment. You're going to reach the leg out long, lengthen through the spine, scoop your abs up, and the leg is going to go up and down 10 times. So just keep the leg parallel today. 
three. So you're using more glute and hamstring. And five, and six, and seven. Super simple. Eight, two more. Nine, and 10. And then let's just go straight to the other side. Left leg long as it goes up and down. Two, three. So I'm not moving my back at all. Four. I'm trying to keep, it out, keep everything else still. Six. You got it. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine. Ten. And then relax. Okay. So come up to your full. I almost said plank. Not yet. Um, all fours position. You're going to reach the right leg back. Okay, we did this the other day. Inch from your fingertips forward, left thumb to the ceiling, and the arm and leg are gonna go up and down 10 times, two, three. So you're lifting the arm from your back, four. You're lifting your leg from your glute and hamstring, six. You're stabilizing from your abs, eight, two more, nine. Today we're gonna lift and hold. We're gonna do little pulses of the arm and leg up to the ceiling, three, four, oh gosh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and then relax it back down. Same exact thing, other side. Left foot reaches up, right arm reaches forward. Thumb to the ceiling as the arm and leg goes up and down. Three, four, and five, and six. Good, seven, eight, two more, nine. Lift and hold, pulse it up 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then relax it back down. Press back into a child's pose. Take a moment for your stretch. Okay. Let's come all the way up to stand for our standing footwork. So we're going to start in our Pilates V. Heels together, toes apart. Take a moment, kind of find your balance. You're going to do your genie arms today. You're going to bend the knees, making sure that the knees are pointing over the toes and they're about like shoulder-ish distance and your torso is upright. And 10. I'm going to stay facing forward today. Two. And three. And four. I'm super tall. Five. And six. Just like a little demi play. Seven. So your heels are down. Eight. Stretching your calves. Nine. And 10. Okay. Today, make sure your V isn't super wide. You're going to switch your genie arms. Your goal is to keep your heels together. Think about everything we've used. Inner thighs, glutes, hamstrings, abs, obliques, armpits. You're going to lift the heels up, ooh, <laughs> down, two, and three. So squeezing the heels together. Five. You're zipping up through the abs. You don't pitch backwards. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. You're going to lift and hold. Good. Hold there. Squeeze your glutes. Maybe switch to a little ballet. First position. Fingertips together. Baby bend and straighten. Two, if you need to bring your heels down, totally fine. Three, but really try to keep the heels up. Four, working at a little bit of a balance. Five, grab onto anything if you need nearby. Six, and seven, oh gosh, eight, two more, nine, and 10, and then relax everything down. Very nice. Let's go to our wide second position. Knees and toes are pointing out. Arms are gonna go out to your ballet second. Bend the knees and hold. Make sure the knees are pointing in the same direction of the toes. And then come on up. Ten. Two. And three. And four. So just squeeze the glutes five. Zip up through the inner thighs. And seven. Good. Eight. Two more. Nine. Hold the bottom. Let's do our ten pulses up and down here today. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10 and then come all the way up. Let's go straight into our chair pose. Knees and toes are pointing forward. Your legs are parallel. Arms are down by the sides. Thumbs are pointing forward. You're gonna squat down pretty low. Thumbs to the ceiling. Drop your shoulder blades down. Suck your tummy up as you come all the way up. And nine. And eight. And seven. And six. Squeeze the glutes to lift. Five. Four more. Four. A lot of breath. Three, two more, two, hold at the bottom. Let's pulse those arms up and down for 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then come all the way up. All right, shake everything out. You've got our planks to finish. We've been working on an elbow plank. If you need to do this plank kind of up against the counter or up against the couch, that's totally fine. It's totally up to you. 
Today, I'm gonna do this in a full plank. You can remain on your elbows if you want. I just wanna add a little bit of a leg lift. So I feel like it's easier if you can kind of see. I'm gonna tuck my shirt in. I'll go to the other side. So you just stare at my shirt tucked in. You know what? That's a lie. That's totally a lie. I'm gonna stay on my elbows. I feel like now that I've got my shirt tucked in, I want us to get really comfortable in this elbow plank, forearm plank position before we come up to our full plank, which is, if you could think like, you know, physics, um, there's a lot less surface area on the floor. So it's a lot harder to stabilize. So scratch that, staying on my elbows. Okay, so come on down to your forearms or come up to your countertop or to your couch if you need. You're gonna step your feet back into your full lunge. Okay, so you're zipping up through the abs, you're squeezing your booty. We've been working on this little tap series. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then relax. So we've been working on leg on your tummy and an off arms position, lifting the leg up and down. We're going to try that here today. So you're going to find your full plank, baby lift up, and switch two, three. So the leg is straight, four, you're zipped up through the abs. Five, you're squeezing your booty to lift the leg. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then relax. Good. Press back into your line. I'm sorry, to your child's pose. Take a moment. Let's just finish with our quick lunges. Left foot forward. Hands to your thigh if you can. Lift the chest up. Undo my shirt here. All right. We're gonna try to do a different hamstring stretch today. You're gonna lift your hips up to the ceiling. Your feet are about like foot-ish away from each other and your legs are straight. So again, if you can get your back pretty flat, that's great too. If you can't quite touch the floor, you need to bring your hands up to your thigh. I'm sorry, your, your shin, your shin. The other thing, <laughs> you can do that. You're gonna step your right foot forward, forward fold, do a little hamstring stretch here. Let's kind of work backwards. So left leg goes back. Legs are straightish if you can. Hands to your shin if you need. And then we'll swing back into your lunge on the right side. Drop your knee down. Hands to the thigh. Lift the chest. Awesome. And you made it. Great job today. Today was day six. Once again, my name is Christina, and I hope to see you next time. Aloha.